up, you guys, and welcome to my channel. I am Corby, your beauty, health, and lifestyle influencer. And this video was brought to you by Influencer as well as Real Technique. Oh, kill them. Real Technique sent me their basic, basic collection within their brushes. I created the everyday look with your everyday essentials. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please make sure that you go ahead and continuously keep watching. But before you do, please make sure that you guys are already subscribed to my channel. Like, why are you not subscribed to the channel? Come on, be a part of the family. You know you want to do it. Bring it on in. Also, please make sure that you guys are following me all around the world, you know all around the world we go all around the world yeah and that's the way that you guys can follow me on all social media such as snapchat instagram facebook as well as twitter now i try so hard to be so consistent on twitter you guys and i have never been a twitter fan i'm not gonna say a twitter fan i have never been a person to be consistent on twitter as well. and i'm trying to be so please make sure that you guys follow me on twitter so that way that i know that somebody is watching something that i'm tweeting you know because i I wouldn't be tweeting if nobody ain't watching it. That makes sense, right? Whatever. I'm still going to tweet. I'm still going to post content. Why? Because I really enjoy doing it. Please make sure that you visit the description box below. That way that you guys can go ahead and sign up for influencers. So that way that you can start receiving your free products today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, if you want to see how I created this beautiful everyday essential look, please go ahead and continuously keep watching. And remember, God is love. So love, love. Bye. Thank you once again to Influencer as well as Real Techniques for providing these brushes to create this look today. Inside of the box, they went ahead and provided the brochure introducing the brushes as well as not an empty box, but they did give me a box of one, two, three, four, five brushes and one sponge, actually four sp brushes and one sponge, which we're going to go ahead and create this look today. So, oh, kill them. Let's get it. Now, the brushes did not include the brow brush that I'm going to be using today. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. And I'm going to be using my, just my random spoolie eyebrow brush, which I love using. If you guys are not on that dual type of situation for a brush, honey, I don't know what rock you've been living under, but you better climb up out of there, baby, because ain't nobody got time to be using so many brushes for my brow brows. Yes, that's what I call my eyebrows, my brow brows. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that these brow brows are carved out and I'm using my foundation which you if you have seen my videos before you notice that I do use concealer but now I start just using my foundation and I'm just using the top of my foundation just to get out a little bit of it because I don't need a whole lot I warm up the product on the back of my hand and I just go ahead and carve out my eyebrows to the perfection that I like I do not like very archy eyebrows no I am not archy comics I don't want my brows to be looking like I'm surprised all the time, but we're not going there. So I just go ahead and use my regular e.l.f. blending brush. This brush did not come, come with the Real Techniques line. No, but I am using this to blend out my eyebrows, making sure that the foundation is blended in to give my eyebrows a more natural look. If you guys want a more detailed tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, just go ahead and place it in my comment box below. Let me know and I'll get you together, boo-boo. Trust me, I'll get you together. Going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, I'm just going to be using two dots and not a lot, lot to go ahead and moisturize this into my my skin please make sure that you always prime your face before you place any foundation onto your face because you want it to look right and ready Ooh, yes now going in with the first product of the day I'm going to be using the miracle complexion sponge now I love using this miracle complexion sponge because it is used for four different ways and we're going to go ahead and use those four different ways right now now this complexion sponge is ideal for foundation and the liquid foundation today that I'm using is my Maybelline fit me in the color 335 classic tan now the rounded side blends larger areas of the face such as my foundation which I will also go in and use to blend everything else together afterwards going in with my Maybelline fit me concealer in the color number 35 oh actually not 35 I'm sorry in the color 30 and I'm also going to be using my concealer color in the color 60 I love using these concealers to blend out everything and of course using one line for everything as well now I'm using the flat edge side and I use this to blend out my contour now, I really, 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 really like using this side only because I feel like my contour can be get a little messy and the tip edge of the complexion sponge is remotely used for my highlighting and blending out my highlighted area, which you can see because I don't need a whole lot to be able to do that. So I just use this to blend out 
all of my highlighted area. Not only do I use this to make sure that everything is seamlessly split in, I also go back in with the rounded side to make sure that my highlighted is blended with my contour and my contour is blended with my foundation. But with this complexion sponge, it will save you so much time. I love this sponge because this sponge can last up to one to three months if taken care of properly. And what I mean by taking care of properly, I mean you have to make sure that you sterilize this thing. And if you guys are not really familiar on how to really clean a complexion sponge please let me know I will place a video somewhere in the icon somewhere around here so that way that you guys can figure out how to clean it and make sure that it lasts so much longer now for my loves who are allergic to latex don't worry these sponges are latex free now I'm going to go in with my blush brush yes this brush is supposed to be used for blush but I love to use this to actually set the rest of my face now I'm going in with my kiss press powder in the color caramel oh god I'm always like messing this thing up so I'm just going to be using this to just go ahead and blend out that Laura Mercier that I used to set my highlighter as well as I'm going to make sure that this is blended all over my face making sure that it's setting the contour making sure that it's setting the foundation and making sure that it's dusting away a lot of that whiteness and I like using that brush to do so now I'm going to go in with my next brush and this is the expert face brush now this expert face brush has very firm bristles and and it's good for liquid and or cream foundation but I use it to actually set my contour and or bronzer only reason why I like using it is because I feel like it is suck it's like smaller enough for it to suck into the corners and the creases of my contour so I feel like this brush can be used as a multi-purpose I can use this to set my foundation but since I use my complexion sponge we're not even going to worry about that so going in with the number 300 deluxe crease brush this has very short dense bristles and you could use this to blend out cream and powder eyeshadows evenly into the crease of your eye so I'm going to be using this second nature 35 or 2 palette by Morphe and I'm going to be using these two colors to blend together and it gives me the same color as I use on my contour to put right in the crease of my eye because we want to give a more natural look but I like using this brush because it gets all up in that crease and it gets all up in that eye and saves me a lot of time from blending too many colors in my eye as for my eyeshadow so shout out to this crease brush because she does the brush brush now forgive me for my one last situation going on but one of my lashes act like anyone to come to play today so going in with the number 402 I'm using my settings brush and I'm going in with French toast in my my Ray Ray palette and I love using this brush because it has very soft and fluffy bristles now this is good for highlighting or setting powders precisely for natural looking illumination so as we're going to be giving my natural illumination going on we're going to be setting this highlighted to capacity not only did I place this on the cheekbones of my highlighter but I'm also going to be using this color to place on the tip of my nose as well as at the very 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 tip of that brush there is just a little little stick portion that I like to go ahead and tip at the tip of my inner corners of my eyes so that's pretty much the whole look you guys after I do that I go ahead and set my face and after I go ahead and set my face I'm using my Morphe uh, I want to say setting spray this is what is considered the setting spray I love using the setting spray by the way you guys it gives a very very soft mist and I place my Maybelline great lash mascara at the bottom and you guys you're ready to walk out the door I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and and I hope that these brushes are very basically essential for you guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. And remember, God is love. So love, love. Slay all day, baby.